All right, so precisely why did the Soviet Union ultimately fall apart? Um, there's really no one reason that you can uh, you can look at and say, okay, well, hey, um, that's the only thing. It, it's really much more complicated than one single item. And I told you from the beginning, um, you know, that we're just giving you a small little snapshot. So if you want to understand why does the Soviet Union cease to exist, um, I kind of break it down into six basic pieces, um, each one kind of playing its own role um, to the main idea of why it falls apart. So let's start there. Number one, communism's main idea. The, the basic premise to the Soviet version of communism is that the, the government is going to provide for its citizens. Uh, if you needed a job, you went to the government. The government assigned you a job. If you needed food, you went to the government. The government provided you with food. Um, as long as the government is doing those things, the people have no reason to go against it, to rise up, to revolt. The minute that the government can no longer provide the people with those basic things, though, uh, the minute the government starts failing the people, that's when you start to have a problem. From the end of World War II, really up through uh, you know, the 1980s, you really had uh, the people thinking that, man, we're the best, everything's, we're on top, um, and everything's good, everything's provided for. You're getting to a point where that's no longer happening, okay? So that's going to be one thing. Number two, heavy industry. Um, this is what they base their economy around. We were based around what we call consumer goods. Uh, things that you are going to buy that probably don't cost a whole lot, but you're going to buy a lot of them throughout your lifetime. You're going to continue to buy them over and over and over again. With heavy industry, what the Soviet uh, planned economy or, com or command economy was, was built around, um, heavy industry is going to be producing big things, uh, big ticket items, factory machinery, planes, tanks, stuff that's going to bring in a lot of money up front, but the reality is you're not going to you're not going to replace these things very often. So while, yeah, it did give them a big pile of cash to start with, you got to think about what's happening. If people aren't buying these things over and over and over and over and over again, um, if you take a big pile of cash and you just continually take money out of it to pay for things, eventually that pile of cash is going to go away. That's how they're economy was set up. And by the 1980s, that pile of cash is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. For the United States, yeah, paper towels don't cost much, but we buy, you know, two, three rolls every time we go to the grocery store. So, so we're buying uh, over and over and over again, and we keep putting money into that pile of cash as we take money out. So we're replenishing it. So ultimately, when you get to the races, for example, um, there's going to be an awful lot of cash available for us to be able to do that. They're not going to be in that same boat. The more we spend, the harder it is for them to keep up with us. Third reason why the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. Uh, decision making in a command economy. Basically, the, the government makes all decisions. Um, so when it comes to a factory, you don't have the factory owner knowing what the factory is going to be able to produce He's not making the decision. A government bureaucrat is going to be making the decision based on what the what is the co uh, country need at that time. Farmer is not going to make decisions on what to plant. Somebody in Moscow behind a desk is going to make those decisions. So ultimately, what's happening is you have people who are not best suited to make decisions for businesses making those decisions. So you get a very, very inefficient uh, economy. You get farms that don't produce as well. You get, um, you know, factories that produce stuff that doesn't make any, any sense. I remember hearing a story um, about a factory that made cement blocks. Well, then one day they decided, well, hey, we don't need cement blocks anymore. We need lamps. So they started making cement lamps. Not the greatest of decisions. 